Okay, why don't we do an example to illustrate uh, how to use the ideal gas law as well as incorporate the compressibility factor to it so we can maybe get a more accurate result, okay? So it's a simple question. It is asking for the mass of a given volume of a particular ethylene is what I'm working with over here. And the temperature is given as zero degree C and the pressure is given as five megapascals, okay? The question is asking you to find the value of the mass by using the ideal gas assumption first and use the compressibility factor. Okay, let's get going. This shouldn't take a lot of time, right? So the P times the specific volume, so P pressure times the specific volume will be equal to R times T. Okay, the way that I write it, this R is not universal gas constant. Okay, this depends on what I have. It's a specific value for ethylene. So in order to find the R, I need to go to appendix 1, A1. Okay, and over there, you're going to see the Obviously, I'm talking about Chang'e 9th edition, right? That's what I'm uh, working with over here. That's my textbook. So this is going to be 0 0.2964 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. Careful with the um, scale, temperature scale. And while I add it, because as you may remember, when I do the compressibility, I need the critical values, and that the critical values is listed in the exact same table so let me why don't i just uh, copy that down as well okay critical temperature is 282.4 kelvins while critical pressure is 5.12 megapascals okay again i only need r at this point so then let me go ahead and uh, do my thing okay so the pressure is uh, 5 megapascals so in terms of the pascals it's 5 million but note that the R is given in terms of kilojoules, so I'm going to leave it as kilopascals, okay? Um, converting to uh, pascals is fine, then you need to convert this to the joules too, okay? So you have to be consistent. So I'm just going to leave it as um, 5,000, right? That is what in terms of the kilopascal is. The specific volume which I'm after, 0 0.2964 times the temperature is 0, right? No, it is 273.15. Where is this coming from? Kelvin is equal to Celsius plus 273.15. So you can see over here uh, what is happening with the specific uh, volume. I got myself 0 0.0126, okay, when I punch this into my calculated meter cube per kilogram, okay. And then if I look at it, this, you will see that this is going to be 0 0.0126, and this is given, and this is given to me as 0 0.1 meter cube. So meter cube per kilogram. So from here you get your mass to be um, 6.175 kilograms, okay? So that's what I obtained with this particular case, okay? So let's go ahead with the part B, which is uh, to look at this with the compressibility factor. So, okay, so I'm gonna have TR will be equal to T by T critical, you know this. And the T here is not zero, right? It is, I have to be consistent with units, so it's Kelvins. Because T, T critical is also given in terms of the Kelvin, so that I get a non-dimensional, right around one, like 0 0.97. Let me do the same treatment for pressure. So P divided by PC, and that was going to be 5 mega pascals, divided by 5.12 mega pascals. And that, that's, you know, right around 97, something like that is, is, is that as well. Okay. So then what I do is I go to Chang'e, 9th edition. And we have a figure, 3-48, uh, and that was the, basically the Z as a function of the uh, PR over here and different ones. And I just follow wherever it says uh, TR is equal to 1, and I look at this one or something like that. It is close to the worst case scenario, okay? And I find that the Z is 0 0.22 in this particular case, okay? And then I go ahead and do this. P, V is equal to Z. RT and you can imagine it's looking quite similar to what I did before except now I'm multiplying the right hand side by 0.22 right let me go up yep okay 0.2964 times 273.15 right so you can see here the specific uh, volume this time around turns out to be 0 0.00356 which is equal to 0 0.1 meter cube per Mass, right? Mass. That's what I'm after, after all.
So then from here, I get my mass to be 28.1 kilograms. Okay, so this is the real answer. Okay, if you do an approximation for the ideal gas, you can see that I get six. So your error, well, uh, it doesn't come as a surprise that your error is uh, one minus 0.22, right? 78% error that you have here in analysis, okay? So the point we're making over here is you really need to know what you're doing, okay? I gave you an extreme case where this is close to one and one, so this is an extreme example. In most of the cases, if the pressure is lower, for instance, I can go into the, um, you know, much more realistic Z values, so the error may not be as large, but the point we are making is be careful in using ideal gas law, okay? And we're going to use these a lot in the uh, module 4 and 5, so we'll revisit. So I'm not going to do any more examples from this topic, okay? Have a good day. This is going to do it for now.